Welcome back to the Indusoft Web Studio video training series. Uh, here we're going to cover today uh, installation and registration of Indusoft Web Studio version 7.1. Now uh, you have the choice of installing either from the DVD supplied by Indusoft or downloading off the internet and installing uh, from that. Here I'm going to show you what the installation looks like when you install from DVD and then I'll switch over and actually install version 7.1 from uh, a downloaded version. And what you see here is the version 7.0 interface. When you first put the DVD in, uh, an auto run starts up and, and gives you an interface similar to this. Uh, I'm starting these videos before version 7.1 is, is final, and this is one of the last things that we have uh, to do before we release it. So th this is the installation for version 7.0. But uh, we've decided that the 7.1 is, is pretty much going to be the same front end. So this should look very similar to what you have in 7.0. But I wanted to point out when you first start up this uh, auto launch, you'll, you'll look something like this. And you'll be able to check from product installation or add-ons, documentation, examples. And you have a similar tree view over here. You will click on product installation here. And then Indusoft Web Studio, uh, the, uh, when we launch version 7.1 this this menu will change. You also have the option of installing the thin client uh, which will install thin client components as well as secure viewer on uh, the particular station. You can get the release notes, uh, current communications drivers from, from the Indusoft website site. There are also the ability to get to uh, add-ons, the documentation, examples, uh, presentations. I, I encourage you to take a look at some of the presentations that we have. We, we typically put out two different presentations, intro, IWS, uh, introduction to IWS, as well as uh, what is new. So this gives you uh, key insights to some new information, as well as some case studies that we have. Um, so all this uh, information is really good to look at, um, uh, as well as um, OPC servers and things of that nature that we have, uh, simple factories, uh, extra things. So uh, I am not going to install from the DVD. I'm going to also show you, I'm going to close this, uh, once you were to download and unzip the files manually from our website, you'd be presented with a similar folder structure to this. Now you may have different files, again this is not a released version yet, but we're getting very close. So I'm going to double click on setup.exe, and it's going to prompt me for what language do I want to install, and it's going to go through the installation of version 7.1 and following the wizard here I'm going to click on next and we encourage you to read uh, the license agreement potentially you can print it out but if you'd like to save uh, save paper save a tree then you could just look through the electronic version of this as well once you uh, agree on that you have the option to say yes if you disagree with it uh, then you can say no and abort the installation we're going to click on yes we're going to click on uh, uh, the company name here and put our company name in and encourage you to do the same. Click on next and this will install to on um, Windows 64-bit operating systems. It's going to uh, default the installation to program files x86 into Soft Web Studio version 7.1. On 32-bit machines it'll just be program files and you have the option to change that as well. You're going to click on next here and here's the um, uh, different options that you have for the different features for installing. So if you want to reduce the installation size, you can choose the different options. For example, if you are not going to use the, the Windows CE or Embedded, you have the ability to not install the different um, features for that. Also down here, notice at the bottom, you also have the ability to check on uh, mobile access for the runtime and collaboration tools which is an additional feature for the product. Now in order to use the collaboration tools uh, you do need to have on the PC where you're going to use the collaboration tools you need to have Microsoft Team Foundation Explorer 2010 uh, on the client machine that's uh, the one where you're installing this product and then on a server you have to have Microsoft Team Foundation Server 2010 and there's more information in the help system about that. But uh, for the most part, we encourage just to uh, check everything uh, unless you're not going to use the collaboration tools, which is a, a, an add-on product. Uh, but I also encourage you to uh, choose the PC demo here. But leave everything checked or choose your options, then click Next. And this is a uh, 
uh, an FYI message, and we're changing the text of this message. This will look a little bit different uh, when the real version of uh, 7.1 comes out. And it's just a message letting you know that uh, you need those particular tools for the collaboration uh, server. It's not a warning, it's just more of a, an FYI. So we're going to click net, uh, Install to begin uh, the installation. And as this takes a little bit of time, I'm not going to sit through this in this entire video. So I'm going to wait for it to uh, finish the installation. I'm going to cut the, uh, the video and then come back to it once it's finished installing. So we'll see you back here in just a couple of minutes. Okay, so now we're done. Uh, Indusoft Web Studio is finished installing. So we've come back from the little cut that we made. And now we can click on Finish. Now, um, before we go ahead and register or license the product, uh, it is important to know that uh, you have the, the choices between a hard key, a USB or parallel port key, or soft key. And if you're choosing a soft key, uh, the registration tool actually profiles your PC that you're on because it licenses it to the particular PC. And uh, part of that profiling is the uh, network interface card or the NIC card. And it does not simply look for the MAC address. Uh, it looks for uh, mainly the the primary Ethernet card that is listed in your system. Now, many times today, uh, PCs are going to have multiple uh, NIC cards or network interface cards. And how you can see which one is your primary, and it will adjust depending on if you have wireless enabled or a, maybe a plug-in card or hardwired Ethernet. Uh, how you can find out which one is the primary. Uh, it used to be a little bit easier in Windows XP, but in Windows Vista and 7, they've, Microsoft has kind of hidden the menus. So what you can do is go to your Start button, click on Control Panel, and then find Network and Internet, and then choose Network and Sharing Center. Once you've done this, you can click on Change Adapter Settings, and here's all the different adapters that you have. Now, previously in XP, you would have a menu across the top with an Advanced setting. But in Vista and 7, uh, that menu is hidden. You have to hit the Alt key. So if you watch up here, if you hit the Alt key, then the menu bar appears. When you can click on Advanced, Advanced Settings, and now here is the list of adapters that you have, the network interface cards, and the order that they are uh, connected to or used. So uh, here's some arrows that can be used to modify the, the order of this list. Now what I've done here is I have a couple of different wireless connections and uh, VPN and a few different things. But what I've done is I've taken my hardwired Ethernet card that can't be removed from my laptop and moved that to the top of the list. So that when we license Indusoft, uh, that one will always be there and will not adjust in that way that uh, we won't lose our license. Uh, in this particular PC. That is not true for a hardware key because the hard key is actually licensed to the USB or the parallel port key itself. And another good thing to note is that the hard key can actually be moved from computer to computer uh, or possibly even shared uh, amongst coworkers who maybe don't use Indusoft all that often and they can share uh, between themselves. But of course we'd like you to purchase uh, licenses for everybody but you can in fact share by using the hard key. Um, so I'm going to click on OK here and get out of this. And now what I'm going to do is get into the uh, registration tool. If we go down to the Start button, and now we've installed into Soft Web Studio 7.1, I'm going to go to All Programs, come down here to into Soft Web Studio version 7.1, and click on the Register tool. Now the Register tool, once this runs, we should see the um, this come up. And then I will be presented with the choice between hard key and soft key. I happen to have a hard key in my system, and the menus look virtually the same. So I'm going to uh, choose check here once I've chosen hard key. And what you will see is a message here that says something to the effect of that it's not licensed yet, or uh, I forget the exact message. But um, once you do license this, then you'll come back to this screen and you'll be able to see, or this message box here, and be able to see. Uh, what your license contains. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on change license and what you're going to be presented with is a menu here that has the site code that after uh, the registration tool has looked at your hardware it has uh, returned this this large hexadecimal number. And the reason I say that it's hexadecimal is is there are zeros in here there are no letter O's. 
uh, so it's going to be 0 through 9, A through F. I recommend that you don't try to write this number down. I recommend that you copy this using the copy tool, and uh, copy a little icon here, and when you do this, then you will send this off with an email in your purchase order to either your, your Indusoft partner or to Indusoft directly and request the site key. Once you receive that site key, uh, then you will paste that site key back into here and finish your installation. Now, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm, not sorry, I'm sorry, not finish your installation, but finish registering your product. Once you do that, you would hit authorize and it would tell you that it was successful or not. And then you'll be uh, presented back here with this menu. It'll tell you how many drivers you can use simultaneously, what options or uh, import wizards that you have access to, and how many thin clients. Now, it's quite often that the standard runtime will have one web thin client, one secure viewer, and one SMA client. Not the 8.8 8 and 128 that I have here, but 1, 1, and 1. So you can use those thin clients um, in your project. And depending on your license level, this happens to be the advanced server license level, which is a half million tags. So I have a lot of different uh, drivers and features that I can use here. So after you're done uh, uh, doing this, actually, when you go to change your license and you have that site code, uh, currently, uh, as I'm recording these videos, this is, again, prior to the actual version 7.1 launch. The way we accept a site code and can register the product is via uh, an email address, uh, license at indusoft.com. Again, license at indusoft.com. Shortly after the release of version 7.1, we plan on uh, hosting a web licensing tool that will be available 24-7, and you can license through that. Um, unfortunately, I don't have more details than that, uh, nor do I have the web link, but if you go to the indusoft.com uh, website, it should eventually become apparent as to where that uh, online licensing is, and you can get your site key through that and uh, uh, go from there. So I am going to close these, assuming you've successfully registered your product, and close. And now I'm going to go to where Indusoft is normally installed, and by default that's on the C drive and under program files x86 and you should also find uh, Indusoft Web Studio version 7.1. Now the bin folder where, is where most of the product is installed and we have some things in there CE server which is your uh, remote connection uh, or um, yeah the remote uh, download tool we call the remote agent or CE server is the program that you run in there and uh, a good portion of the program actually exists in the bin folder. The DRV folder is where all the drivers are at, and, and quite typically you're going to find four files associated with uh, every driver. Not every driver has four files, but, but uh, most do. The DLL is the actual driver. The INI is the uh, setup or the configuration of that. The message is the message uh, error codes. And the PDF is the configuration manual or the, the driver manual itself. Now you can get access to the um, driver manual from within Indusoft Web Studio on the help, the ribbon help bar, and I'll, I'll show you that. Um, but in addition to that, uh, if we go back up one, we have the LIB, which is uh, something older that we have. The Redist folder is if you are using Windows CE, you need to choose the particular. Uh, uh, CPU that uh, has on the hardware that you're going to be downloading to. So you need to know what type of CPU and inside of here, for example, if it's a, an x86 platform, you will see a lot of that same folder structure that I just pointed out and that will need to be uh, copied to or installed on that particular hardware. If you're working with an Indusoft partner that already installs uh, Indusoft on their hardware before they ship it, uh, this, this portion will already be done, but you can manually do that too. Uh, also, uh, backing out of this again, uh, the symbol, this is our global symbol library. This is where we have sliders and push buttons and pilot lights and things of that nature that you can get at your product uh, with, from within the product. And then there's also license information and release notes. We highly encourage you to look at uh, the release notes so you can see what additional features were added and any fixes uh, and performance enhancements that were introduced in, in this particular version. So you can take a look at that. 
Uh, we also make this available on our website. So you can take a look at that before you have to download the uh, take the time to download the product. So you can look at those release notes and see uh, if it fi fixed or added a particular feature or issue that you were looking for. Um, we are going to now open up uh, Indusoft Web Studio. And what a lot of people don't realize is the very first thing that opens up when you uh, use Indusoft Web Studio is the PC demo application. A lot of people go create their brand new application first and try to, to develop their own. But there is a very feature rich uh, demo application in here that has uh, a lot of features, if not all the features in the product and uh, very good demos. And you can use this to demonstrate the product as a kind of a sales tool, uh, depending on what your relationship is with IndieSoft. If you're a uh, system integrator, certified system integrator, partner, representative, or distributor, whatever, you can use this almost as a presentation. Even though it's, it's not a presentation per se, it is our real application development and runtime, you can use it as a tool to be able to show uh, Indusoft Web Studio and all of the features. Now another uh, possibility to use uh, this PC demo application is the ability to use this as a technical uh, piece of information. So for example if there was a screen or a feature that you wanted to see how Indusoft did uh, something you can open that up and take a look at that particular object and see oh how did we do that we changed the zoom value for this and then maybe there's uh, some scripting built in and how we build a, a URL and send that off to a website uh, for example so you can um, take and borrow uh, and use and learn by taking a look at this application and see how we we've, we've implemented uh, particular features in this uh, in this demo so uh, I highly encourage you to take a look at that and uh, use that from a technical standpoint not only but uh, also kind of a sales tool as well. So uh, I will start this demo back up and hopefully you found this uh, information in this video uh, easy to understand and uh, valuable. Thanks and have a great day.